guys, you know what's really funny? When people have really douchey behind names and their tags and drive really, really freaking slow. Okay, Blood Hunter. R with an R. I didn't even spell Hunter. I saw this morning when I was on the interwebs and on Facebook that there's apparently this thing where everyone's kind of concerned with Titanfall not being a multiplat. I my car before I use all my gas up. But apparently some people thought that Titanfall, like that exclusive that Microsoft showed as an exclusive at their conference as an exclusive, they assumed that it was a multiplat game and now people are kind of upset because it's not a multiplat game. It's like, when did, was there ever a question of whether that was a multiplat or not? I mean, Microsoft did show it at their exclusive conference to foreign investors for Microsoft and Xbox One during their lineup of exclusive games, and it happened to be one of those games lined up in the exclusives. So wouldn't you assume that it was exclusive and not multiplat? Even then, it's not even that great looking of a game. Everyone's like, oh, it's not Call of Duty, and it's not that's going to kill all those games or whatever. I'm like, honestly? Really, dude? Really? Really? No, really, look at my face, really. Every first-person shooter looks like every other first-person shooter. That's the thing. Most games that have the same kind of, like, overall basic idea of what's going on look the same. Call of Duty, I mean, despite some small mechanic things and some graphic changes, of course, everything like that's a little different sometimes, but it's all be honest with each other right now. Battlefield, Call of Duty, um... Killzone, all of them look similar. They have little things here and there that tip you off as to what game it is and the little differences between the gameplay and stuff like that. But honestly, they all look the same. Look at the cases. They all have the same case. It's just a different dude, different colors. It, it's the same It's the same thing. Like, oh my god, Jay, you're such a little a business or whatever because you say that Call of Duty and Battlefield is the same thing. Killzone is the same thing as Call of Duty. And it takes more skill. Yeah, it takes more skill. I didn't say anything about it. I said it looks the same. From appearance wise, if like honestly, if you can show someone who is not a gamer one game and show them a different game, I mean honestly, like a lot of them do contribute all games for the same game, but show like kind of a seasoned gamer a little bit that isn't really like super super hardcore into them. Show like random person who plays DS games like Killzone and then Call of Duty randomly. They probably won't be able to tell that much of a difference between the two of them besides like small little changes here and there. So, yeah. Otherwise, uh, I'm still waiting for PS4 to release because the only game I really wanted to play on Xbox One was. Honestly, I can't think of any right now. I mean, I know there's one that I wanted to, but like at the same time, The Division is all I really want to play right now. The Division, Watch Dogs, um, I can't talk right now. Watch Dogs, The Division, um, the new Killzone. I'm really actually interested in a little bit. Um, I've never played Killzone before, so. I would like to play a different shooter of the same genre of shooters. Um, so it would be nice to play that. I did pre-order the one with Killzone in it. Um, Tarje all the way. Because GameStop's being really iffy in their whole pre-order thing. Because they only got a certain number of them. And then the one that's closest to me was always getting like these random like texts. Like, hey, we got two of them in now. Oh, they're gone now. That's two seconds after we took you a text or called you or whatever. Um, so I just went to Target and pre-ordered one anyway. So... I have the Killzone one, but otherwise I want to play Watch Dogs, The Division. Um, I really want to play Beyond Two Souls. I'm really looking into getting a PS3 just so I can play that and then sell it to film something else. I don't know. Um, but I think that's about it. I just want to like kind of touch on the whole like Titanfall thing. Because Titanfall, it looks kind of awesome. At the same time, it's kind of like not awesome enough for me to buy a system for that game. I mean, honestly, if it was really up to me and I didn't really do gaming stuff, I wouldn't even be buying a system at launch because... I'm kind of concerned with any flaws that we come up with it, so I'm really kind of turned off from that. So, yeah, otherwise, let me go back inside, because, actually, let me go inside to start my shift for work, because it's really hot out here in my polyester Star Trek Sephora outfit. Um, so, I'll see you guys later. Uh, all the stockerific, follow-y stuff in the description. I will see you probably sometime this week. I don't know. It's probably a lie. I'll see you whenever I see you. So... Yeah, look at this awesome interior painting that I'm not done yet with yet. That kind of matches my outfit. I'm not done with it, but yeah. If you know anyone who knows how to do this properly, please let me know because I don't know what I'm doing. I watch YouTube to figure it out and I'm kind of meh. But yeah, let me go inside because it's really hot outside and it's fucking burning up in here. So I'll see you guys later.